the remains of late the Supale Commissioner and former member House of Representatives Honorable Joyce Onofekuku Overa has been buried in Saple. The funeral ceremony which took place at the face-to-face -face assembly at Mukbe Saple witnessed the presence of top political and society guests as people from all walks of life came to pay their last respect to the late Saple political leader. Among those present are Speaker, Delta State House of Assembly, Honorable Sheriff Oberewori, Chairman, Delta State PDP, Chief Barrister Kingsley Esiso, Desopadek Chairman, Honorable Evangelist Michael Didian, popularly known as Ejele, Desopadek Managing Director Bashoru Askia Uge, Chief Polinus Akbeki, Chief Igoyota Amori, Project Manager Asaba Airport, Mr. Austin Ayemi Dejo. Member representing Saple in State House of Assembly, Honorable High Chief Felix Anira. The Supadi Commissioner and Head of Finance, Honorable John Nani. Commissioner for Agriculture, Honorable Julius Egbedi. Chairman, Saple Local Government Council, Honorable Chief Eugene Inuaga. Honorable Festus Pemu. Blend as Thai CEO, Lady Judith Wanshuku, various Desopadek and state commissioners, and more. During the funeral church service, a free school for the poor and needy was unveiled in tribute to the late OJ Overa by the Delta State Speaker of the House of Assembly. I want to unveil the memorial school, OJ Overa. The Holy School, the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dignitaries present sent out their goodwill messages to the families of late OJ Overa and spoke highly of his immense contribution to humanity during his time on Mother Earth.
because of this generosity, and they have touched the life of people, have impacted on the life of people. Only the needy, you are in church when you are giving testimony, you give God the glory for this they have done, and others should learn from it, so that they can touch the life of others in any time, any time. Because God, who has given us all the things, we want and want to go with the family that they should take us. That God will help them, take them to the end. Go to the children, who are still very young, in the best day and time, God will help them. Speaking on behalf of the Overa family, younger brother to the late OJ Overa, Mr. Raymond Overa, heaped thanks on guests that came all the way to grace the occasion and offer their last respect to their brother. He, however, spoke on the good qualities of his late brother and his impact that would be felt now that he is no more. My name is Raymond Omoro De Overa, younger brother to write on Rebo Joyce Overa. I want to really appreciate everybody for joining us to give my brother a visiting burial. Of the truth, I was so pleased and happy that at the end, what happened, God also glorified himself. I want to thank everybody for coming. I pray that God will also give them and lead them home safe in Jesus' name. Uh, your elder brother steps uh, Amarat uh, into a very big shoe. Uh, apart from the political aspect of it, talking about the other state as a whole. Now that it's no more actual content to maintain the temple, uh, relating to carrying everybody along family wise and its political associates. I must say on this that uh, it will take God and more grace because that is a very big shoe to step on. Right Honorable Joyce Overa has a large heart and has a love for many people. So I pray that God will help us so that we can be able to cover up and bridge the gap so that the people will not feel his absence for too long. You are very close to your brother and I'm of friends. We talk a lot of things, politics, family, business, everything. Sometimes we wake up in the morning around 4 o'clock, we'll be talking, planning the day activities for how the day will go, talking about this, talking about that, and how to make people better. Some of the percent of the discussion is how to make people better. I am Akborero Henry Akbos for TV.